All right, guys, so today we're going to be teaching you how to connect your GoDaddy domain to your AWS. So as you can see here on my account, um, on my screen, um, we have the AWS dashboard ready. So the first thing you want to go to is services. Then you scroll down to networking and content delivery, and then you go to choose uh, route 53. And then from here, we're going to go to create hosted zone. And then from here, we're going to need to uh, put our, your domain name here. So in my case, my domain name is this. And for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to leave the description blank. Um, make sure you make sure you choose a public hosted zone and then you're going to want to click create hosted zone. And uh, now you can see that my domain is here. Um, for next thing that we want to do is we are going to create to click create record. And from here, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to uh, switch to the wizard. And we're going to pick simple routing. And then we create, we click next. And then from here, we're going to click define simple record. And uh, from here, you're going to want to check, uh, select IP address or another value. And in here, you're going to need your instance uh, public IP. Um, for your mind, this is what I have. And after that, just click Define Simple Record. And then what we're going to do next is do that thing again. Uh, define simple record and this time this time we're going to uh, select C name from the record type and then we're going to do uh, triple W dot here and then for uh, the option here is still the same IP address on, on another value but uh, what we're going to enter here is our domain name this is what I have. And then I just hit define simple record. Now that we have the, these two records, we're going to click create records. All right, so we already have these entries here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to need to do, to copy these no, no uh, namespaces, uh, these into our GoDaddy. Page. So we're going back to our GoDaddy page here. And if we go to our domain, uh, we have our domain here and we can go to manage DNS. And then from here, we want to go to name servers. And then we're going to click change name servers here. Say I'll use my own name servers. And from here, you're going to want to go back to your AWS and copy each of these name servers into here. So in your AWS, make sure to just copy the name servers and exclude the dot at the end of each one. Okay, so we're going to copy this and add another one. We're going to copy this. So once you're done, you're just going to click save and then it's going to ask you for confirmation. Um, just hit yes. And after that, it's going to take roughly around five, so five to seven, four to six hours, some somewhere along that time for it to actually update. But as long as it has updated, you're basically good to go. So this has been the tutorial on how to connect your GoDaddy domain to your EC to your AWS EC 
two instances. Thank you for watching, and if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.